getting like a 10 for one right now. This is boxing. This is the beauty of the sport. This is what makes you a pugilist, okay? some of you know your accomplishments as an amateur boxer so I was ranked number one at 106 and 101 for both my junior and youth years and I recently moved up to elite I'm now ranked number two and on team USA so I've been training Natalie now for about four years she's accomplished a lot won a lot of national tournaments you know I'm very proud of her and uh, believe it or not you would think that she would have featured on more of my YouTube videos, you know, but she's a little Hollywood, so, you know, it's hard to get her here in front of the camera, but it's all good. Today, what I want to talk about, before I talk about it, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been purchasing my videos. I can't tell you guys how much uh, it means to me to know that you guys actually think highly enough to want to go ahead and purchase my stuff. Um, I'm, you know, I'm super humbled about that, and if you want to go ahead and leave a positive video comment. So for instance, if you record yourself giving a positive testimonial um, on either any of my YouTube videos or any of the purchase videos, that, you know, any of the paid content that you've purchased, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repost that on my Instagram and possibly on my website. So if you go ahead and take the time out to do that, take the video, record it, send it to my Instagram, shoot me a DM so I can go ahead and repost that. Today, today, what I want to talk about is um, how to set up the body shots off your jab. And this is something that was inspired to me by Clarissa Shields over the weekend. Um, she went ahead and she fought and she looked fantastic in my opinion. And she set up a beautiful combination to the body, a right hook to the body and a left hook to the body. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how she set that up, but then I'm gonna also give you some variables to think about before you go ahead and shoot that same combination. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Natalie here. Just demonstrate somebody using the jab for a little bit. And before we get into it is, what you need to know is when you're using a jab, the jab gets used in all directions. A lot of people think that the jab only gets used laterally. Like, so think about maybe a Muhammad Ali or, or somebody like that where they're always jabbing, going in a circle, going left and right. And when you tell a novice boxer, use your jab or box, right? Right away they think that's what they have to do. But a lot of the times is you wanna go straight to your opponent with a jab and drive them right back and keep them on the defense, okay? So right now she's gonna go ahead and use her jab. We're just gonna jab for a little bit, all right? Show you what a nice jab looks like, good. Jab, so Clarissa was actually going straight forward with it. Double up, good, triple up, five, 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 all right? So now she had her looking for that jab. The girl that she was fighting started to cover up. As she covered up, she left that body open, all right? So she's gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right hook to the body. Bang, good, now rip the shot. Bang, good. And that's where the problem started. The first shot hurt. Clarissa being an um, experienced fighter, noticed that the girl was hurt, and all she did was follow up with a left hook to the body, right? So go ahead and um, drop, you know, touch with the jab and let it go. Bang, bang, all right? Let him feel it, go. Beautiful. And that's when the girl went down, right? A couple variables, all right, for you guys out there who may want to try this combination. Now, let's just break the combination down before we go ahead and do that. You don't want to just throw that right hook to the body. You want to make sure that they're bringing their hands up. So if I'm boxing like this, you may want to wait on that right hook to the body. But throw it there. Once I do this, now you know you got the shot, right? Look at the hole. I'm right here, I'm boxing, I'm boxing. No, my hands come up. A lot of guys like to cover up, females, whatever. When I say guys, I'm talking about both. Like to cover up, leaves the body exposed, okay? Now you also wanna make sure they're not looking to counter you or set you up before you go on that other side. And I'm gonna explain why. If one of my favorite counter punches in boxing is the left hook to the head, when someone throws a left hook to the body. So right now, she goes ahead and she throws that right hook to the body, right? If she sees I'm not countering, then go ahead and rip that shot, boom, right? 
But this comes with experience. This isn't something that you just attempt. This comes with experience and picking up on your opponent's patterns, right? So right now, she's popping the jab. She's noticing that I'm just covering up. She's about to go. Pop, pop. Good. Now do it like you mean it again. Pop, pop. Good. Now, if I'm smart, right, she does the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. I'm throwing that left hook. She's smart enough to keep that hand up because she knows that hook is coming. But let me go ahead and do that slow. Boom, boom. Right now, do it real slow so I can demonstrate. Boom, boom. We exchange hooks. Now, if you got your hands up, you may feel the hook on your glove. Do it again. Boom, boom. But you still feel that. And that right there can either toss you or balance, rattle your brain. You don't really want to feel impact if not necessary. But that is one of those things where before you make the move, you kind of, it's kind of like you're stealing the punch. You're like, okay, okay, okay. Pop, pop. I got it. But if they are looking to counter with the hook, then you may want to just roll under after that right hook. So she goes ahead and she shoots that shot. Boom. And there you go. Rolls right under the hook and she's safe and sound. Decisions in boxing, there's always a hole when you're punching in boxing, just so you know. It's not a perfect science. If I throw a jab to the head, most likely there's a body shot. If I throw a right hand to the head, body shot. If I throw a body shot, there's a head shot. So don't think because you make a decision that you're safe. You always have to know what could happen. But don't be scared either to make the moves because a lot of the times guys don't throw the punch. And if they don't throw the punch, you get the shot off. Make sure you go ahead, you go to the website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com. Check out all my paid instructionals. You won't be disappointed. And make sure you follow Natalie on Instagram. Let them know your handle. My Instagram is and, follow. And it will be in the link description below. 2024 looks like the goal, but she's on Team USA, and uh, she's doing big things. And I want to say thank you to everybody for the support. I'm like a 10 for 1 right now. This is boxing. This is the beauty of the sport. This is what makes you a pugilist, okay?